Hello lovely people. So someone requested it and even though it's winter by me, I've decided to make it. This is some sorrel chocolate chip ice cream, Roma's kitchen style. I absolutely loved it and I hope you love it too. So if you want to see how this gets made, stick around right after this intro. <laughs> So to start, I'll be adding in one and a half cups of soil to my pot here, which is over some low heat. And this is just plain steep soil. Nothing has been added, no ginger, nothing of the sort. Now to this, I'm going to be adding in one cup of soil petals and these are frozen soil petals. If you have dried sorrel, it will give it a darker color, which is what we're going for. So if you have that perfect, use it. Next, I'm going in with four lemon slices. And if you do not have lemon, of course, you can use some lime. Now I'll be moving these around in the pot just a little just to get everything nice and in the liquid and if you're wondering why I use sorrel juice and sorrel petals that's because I'm trying to get this as strong as possible. Now I'm also going to turn up the heat from low to medium and allow this to come to a boil. Here it's boiling so I'm going to allow this to boil for a good 5 minutes. Then after the 5 minutes I'm going to cover the pot and I'm just going to turn this off and I'm going to allow this to cool down completely or you want to leave this for at least 1 hour. So this is it. It has cooled down really, really well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be removing the sorrel petals and the lemon slices. I'm going to discard off these and then I'm going to focus on turning this sorrel juice into some sorrel syrup. So of course, if we need a syrup, we need something to get this sweet. So what I'll be adding to this is a half cup of sugar and the sugar that I'll be going in with is some granulated sugar and you can use brown sugar if that's what you have and I'm just going to be mixing this around until it gets nice and dissolved and I'm doing this over some low heat I'll turn up the heat soon so I gave this a taste and I decided that I want to add some more sugar so I'll be going in with a quarter cup more of sugar and I'm just going to mix this around again and then I turned up the stove to medium now and I'm going to allow this to boil for at least 15 minutes or until it has a little thickness about it until it turns into some syrup. And you know this is getting, this is on the right path guys, when you're doing this and you see all these bubbles together, you know that this is getting thick. And this is as a result of the sugar. This is smelling so good, it's so strong, the soil is so strong and that's exactly how you want it. And you have to keep moving this around guys just like I'm doing because the sugar is in it and you do not want this to just stick to the pot and it will burn if you just leave it like that especially in a pot like mine that's thin. So 
so I'm just going to continue mixing this until I realize that it is getting thick now look at that guys yes it's forming it's getting there So 15 minutes later guys, I'm just going to turn the stove off because this is just no thick. It's at the right thickness that I want. So I'm going to allow this to cool. So this is it. Of course, the longer it cools, the thicker it will get. But this consistency is just perfect for me. I'm going to transfer this to a smaller container so I'll be able to manage it. Now I'm going to move on to making the cream. So I have in this container two cups of heavy cream and I'm just mixing it here. And I'm just going to mix this for about five minutes. And I'm only going in with two cups of the heavy cream simply because I do not want to make too much ice cream. But the syrup that was made can give you way more than this. Okay, so continue mixing and then after that I'm going to be adding in the sorrel syrup to the heavy cream. And I'm just going to go in with a little at a time until I see that I like the color and I'm also going to taste as I go along just to ensure that I'm liking the taste so far it's not too much of the sorrel syrup in it and this is why I had said in the first part of the video that you do not want to make this too sweet because if you make it too sweet as you taste as you go along you realize that oh you do not want any more sorrel syrup in it and then it won't have that strong sorrel taste and also the, the color won't be as dark as if you added more so i'm just going to be mixing everything around here again and because my mixture is not that sweet i'm going to be adding in more sorrel syrup And after adding around 7 tablespoons of the sorrel syrup, this is what I have here. This is the color and this is perfect. If you want yours darker, of course you can add more once it's not too sweet. Then I'm going to add in now 1 tablespoon of condensed milk. And I'm just going to mix everything together. then i'm going to go in with some chocolate chips this is a third cup of chocolate chips now i love chocolate chips and that's why i'm adding it but if you don't this part is 100 percent optional now i'm just mixing everything together i actually wish this was red but it's really pink and that's okay now i'm going to be adding the mixture to a loaf tin and i'm going to ensure to get all this out and just as is just in this form this is so yummy i really enjoyed it and i hope you'll enjoy it too when you actually make this so i'm just trying to get everything out here goes all out So now I'm just going to be shaking the loaf tin just to get everything nice and leveled. I'm 
and then this is it for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover this and i'm going to allow it to sit in the freezer for at least you want to let it sit in the freezer for at least five hours and five hours later guys this is my ice cream and of course i scooped some here and it's really pink not so red and that's fine i added to this some of the sorrel syrup and of course i added some more chocolate chips this was so yummy i enjoyed it and i hope you'll enjoy this recipe too so let me know in the comment section what you think about this video if it's something that you'd try and of course if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up don't forget to share the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on and please follow roma's kitchen on instagram and facebook until next video